Empowerment with Dr. Josefina Monasterio. Welcome back to Empowerment with Dr. Josefina, and I'm Laura Gutridge. Um, first off, before we get into the lesson of the day, we will uh, talk about uh, Dr. Josefina's weight loss program. Uh, it sounds like a, a great plan. Yes. Um, ten days, ten okay. pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thirty days, thirty pounds. Exactly. Um, but yes, only right. yeah. if you follow my directions. Right, of course. If people start cheating, don't expect miracles because I can do miracles only with their help. Right. I think a lot of people, they cheat, you know, and no one's watching, so they think that no one will know. But, it, it, but I know. It shows as, up. <laughs> as soon as they walk in, I know whether they had a good week or a bad week. Yeah. You know, you can, I can tell. So anyhow. Do you like tell them like a diet plan? Oh, yes. Like, I do the fitness plan. I do the nutritional plan. And I do the mental portion of it. Oh, good. Because, you know, if you don't have them, if you don't change, you don't try, change your mind, change your thinking about the way you see yourself, it's not going to happen. Right. And that's why you see people constantly losing the weight and putting it back. Mm -hmm. And losing the weight and putting it back. Because they don't change their thinking. They have mm -hmm. to change their mental picture of themselves. If you continually keep, yourself, keep looking at yourself fat, you're going to stay fat. Right, right. Although you lose the weight, but you put it back because the picture here doesn't match the picture outside. Mm -hmm. That's a lecture. That's another show. <laughs> one, of, one of these shows we do just in weight, okay? Yes. I promise. Okay. Well, we'll jump right into the lesson, um, which is operating out of your imagination and not your personal history. And after reading this, I... I see that you know you talk about the past history because most people have uh, many setbacks and unsuccessful things that they have attempted and um, failed at, and because of this, it just keeps us down. That's your yes. point, right? Yes. But then I was thinking that um, on the other flip side of that, as we grow older, um, it's our past experience that gives us wisdom, mm -hmm. and so you know we can build on some of our past experiences if they were successful. Right. But th we're not really talking about that. We're talking about the people that are down and out from their bad experiences. Exactly. Mm -hmm. For instance, I don't know if you know people that they use their failures mm -hmm. to stay in that position. Mm -hmm. The position themselves where my mom, my dad, the society is their fault, mm -hmm. therefore I can justify no excelling, no doing what I really supposed to do with my life. Right. So what we're talking about is when you use your past history to justify mm -hmm. your laziness, your lack of commitment, and your lack of discipline to be better than you are at this moment. Well, you know, I had this conversation with a friend just recently, mm -hmm. and she was talking about her boyfriend. Uh huh. And she said that, um, well, he just, you know, he's he has bad luck. So, and, and she's taken, they're taking it a step further, I think, because saying that not only that it's not his fault, it's just like in in the in the like karma or whatever. Cosmo. Right, right, exactly. That's the word I was looking for. That there's nothing that this person can do because he has bad luck. And so that, I think, it's, is something that, you know, this lesson will help that person. Absolutely. Because it's not bad luck. It's, we don't all just have bad luck. So you talk about um, things that you can do to kind of get yourself out of this, you know, rut, this way of thinking. Mm -hmm. um, but before we get into that, I want to, I guess we should talk about the three types of people first. Yes. Um, Your friend probably is one of those. Yes. Let's see which one. Um, okay. <laughs> Please do it. <laughs> you do it. Well, the ones that make things happen, the ones that watch things happen, and the people that wonder what happened. Um, so, I guess he wonders. He's wondering yes. why he has bad luck. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, you got to get out of that mindset of um, that there's nothing that can be done about it. Exactly. And you know, Laura, you make a great point because what you this the, the description that you have is this is a person who chooses to be a victim. Mm -hmm. And when you become a victim, so it's the cosmos, mm -hmm. it's the universe, it's God, it's society, it's backlog. 
Well, I don't know if you remember when we did a show one, uh, some time ago about talking what was luck, when opportunity mer, uh, meet preparedness. Right. If you prepare mm -hmm. yourself and the opportunity comes, then you're lucky. Mm -hmm. And most people call it good luck. Know that you are lucky is that you prepare yourself to be lucky. Exactly. You that's prepare true. Prepare yourself. So. Yeah, the people that are lucky, uh, it's not some you know great no. thing that they're they're they are deserving of it because they're ready for it mm -hmm. but you have to be you have to be prepared otherwise it, good luck can come by and it just escapes you if you think oh well I'm just you know the most unlucky person in the world so I'm not going to take advantage of anything that yeah. comes my way so and, you know absolutely not do not get into the mindset right okay right and if you're in it get out of it absolutely because, like you said being a victim does not ever help you and some people they in their own minds, they think that they are thriving some way of, you know, being the victim. And, and I think a lot of people, a lot of women do this because mm -hmm. they want, you know, the damsel in distress. They want someone to come to their rescue because it makes them feel better in it's, some way. But empower yourself. Don't absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. You know, because this is, it, it, and then it really bothers me when you know, people, it, it's not that you are unlucky. And it's right. not that you don't have the money. And it's not that you don't have the mm -hmm. education. Right. What you don't have is a lack of commitment to really take responsibility for you. Like, see how I get. Well, that reminds Ooh. me, though, about like your situation in your country. Is yes. it Venezuela? Yes. You could have considered yourself, oh, my God, I'm born in Venezuela. There's, it's poverty stricken. I don't speak English. I don't never be able to make it to America. But you turned it around. Because I choose not to be a victim. Mm -hmm. you, you know, you have within yourself the power. And if you watch the show all the time, you know that you have within yourself the power to create, manifest, manifest the things that you want for right. yourself. And that's what the program today is all about. I operate out of my imagination, mm -hmm. not out of my past history. Right. My mom, my daddy, my, uh, my I don't have the money, I don't have the account, whatever excuse. Mm -hmm. No, people who operate out of their memory, out of their past, history in trouble right so your well, friend is in trouble <laughs> <laughs> well the truth is we could all be victims I mean I can think of so many circumstances in my life where I could say I'm a victim what was me and whine and cry about it but you can't do that no it, and, and, and like yeah, everyone we've we just turn it around it's not fulfilling life <laughs> and we do have a powerful and fulfilling life, yes, baby. We have imaginations. Yes, we use our imagination. <laughs> Mommy, thank you for coming today. Thank you. I love you. Love Bye. You. Bye. We're going to take a break and we'll be right back with a lesson. Empowerment with Dr. Josefina Monasterio.